Allergy and inflammation are often overlooked factors behind the hair loss. Hey, my name is Alex and in today's video I want to talk about allergy and inflammation. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, basically I was able to recover from hair loss. I was suffering hair loss since I was 18 years old. I was having scalp inflammation, I was having allergical issues on my skin and I also had a DHT problem in the past. But I was able to recover from it and uh, regrow back my hair. And if you want to know how my hair looked before, you can check a uh, link below this video and see how things were for me. And uh, basically since 2018, I have been able to help a dozen other guys do the same thing to regrow back their hair. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about inflammation and uh, how allergy and inflammation kind of interact with each other and make things worse. So if you do have inflammation in your scalp, you may feel that there is some discomfort, that there is uh, increased shedding, that there is uh, some uh, itchiness, redness, uh, some tension. Uh, things basically happens on the scalp that should not be there, right? Uh, you, you feel that there is something wrong on your scalp. And this is a kind of typical sign of inflammation. And what happens if you do get allergy to something is that it can lead to more inflammation, but it also can cause inflammation. Let's say, for example, you're using hats on your scalp and it's, let's say, it's made from polyester. And polyester is often known that it can cause contact dermatitis, right? It doesn't cause contact dermatitis for everybody, but it can lead to contact dermatitis. And that's why we need to be kind of careful what kind of materials we are putting on our head on a daily basis. And what happens is that if material like, material like a uh, polyester get, uh, let's say, it touches your forehead and it leads to uh, itchiness or redness, and you may have a tendency for inflammation, it will make it worse, right? And basically the thing with inflammation is it needs to be solved as fast as possible because inflammation, when it gets out of control, it becomes more and harder to solve it. And the end result is always increased hair loss. So inflammation is something that we need to address as soon as possible. And what I often do in my program is that I use first month when the guys join my program to actually solve inflammation, to make sure that the scalp is inflammation free and there is no allergies there's no issues that can cause problems on later stages. Because if there is a problem later, uh, then it's very hard to get results, very hard to get regrow uh, or basically stop hair loss, right? So uh, we need to address those problems as fast as possible. Another thing I want to mention is that can cause allergies is basically hair sprays, right? Let's say um, hair sprays itself, it's not a problem as long as you apply it on your, on your hair. But if it uh, ends up on your scalp, it can cause problems as well. And uh, especially for you guys who do use hairspray and use hat at the same time, it can make a uh, problem even bigger, right? So you need to be careful what you are applying in your scalp and how you are taking care of the scalp because uh, any inflammation or any allergic reaction on the scalp uh, will cause problems and it will become uh, and make very hard to get results like stopping hair fall or getting regrow. And for you guys who need the help with hair loss and want to get regrow by simple and proven method, you can schedule a call below this video. Let's talk, see how I can help you. I have a six months program. And uh, from the next week, I have three spots available for you guys who want to join, who are serious about solving this problem. Schedule a call, let's talk and see how I can help you. Thanks for watching. Cheers.